Today, I am going to show you how to create a custom syslog message source. SSB receives log messages from remote hosts through sources. A number of sources are available by default, but you can also create new sources, for example, the syslog message source. This is how. Log into SSB. Select log, then sources. Create a new source. Type a descriptive name for the source, which will help you to identify the source easily. Make sure that the syslog source type is selected. For the listening address, select a relevant IP. This is the IP where SSB will receive the messages from. Enter a listening port number, for example, 1999. This will be the port where SSB will accept the messages. Configure SSB to accept log messages using a source that uses TLS as the transport protocol and syslog as the syslog protocol. This is how. For verifying the certificate of the remote host, use the required trusted verification method. This ensures that only valid certificates, which are signed by a trusted certificate authority, are accepted. For the cipher suite, select the strong option. By applying the strong cipher suite, SSB will not allow permissive cipher suites to be used for remote connections. If messages arriving to the source don't comply to the standard message format, select the Do Not Parse option. This option disables syslog message parsing and treats the log line as the message part of a syslog message. Other information, for example, timestamp, host, and so on, is added automatically by SSB. If the information sent by the hosts to the source can be trusted, enable the Trusted option. SSB keeps the timestamps and the host name of the messages sent by the clients. Now commit your changes. Well done. You have now created a new syslog message source. Read more in the SSB admin guide. Or get in touch, if you have any feedback or questions.